it's uh, Jacques from Melifab again. Uh, today we'd like to highlight a truck that we built for the uh, Brockton municipality in Ontario. It's going to go into their Walkerton station. On this unit, they've done a front bumper extension. Uh, there is a uh, trash line compartment in the center of the frame rails, but they've also set it up to accept a uh, turret on the other side. So that will give this truck a little bit more flexibility. Uh, they do have the rods for the uh, with the lighted head so that they can see the edge of the bumper when they're sitting inside of the uh, cab. Uh, the flashers are down low down on the side of the bumper extension. The tire pressure indicators required for ULC on this module or on this unit are a little bit different. It's a wireless unit that sends a signal to a display in the dash. So if there's a problem that occurs while the firefighter is responding, they will see a display inside the cab. The uh, battery conditioner connection is in the chassis step area and this unit has a Kusmal air compressor uh, so it does not require a separate air inlet. Uh, it's uh, tied in with the Wint 10 inlet. On this unit there is a roll door on the pump panel that's becoming more and more popular. Uh, it keeps the panel nice and clean. There is a uh, water level gauge on the outside and on the rear as well, so that uh, the incident commander can see how much water is on the truck uh, from, from a distance. This unit has a drip pan mounted underneath the roll-up door. So this will catch any uh, road grime or uh, humidity from the door and instead of leaking down, will catch into this pan. And there are drains going to the uh, outside edge underneath the uh, pump house. Uh, on this unit, it has a uh, aqueous uh, foam system from uh, Wadris. This pump is a Wadris 840 PTO pump, so it'll allow pump and roll. So if the department does want to use a turret on the front and roll down the road flowing water, they will be able to do that. This department has chosen to do uh, two analog gauges plus the digital gauges for the pump intake and pump discharge, something that we see from time to time for departments that want the best of both worlds. Every discharge is color coded. It has a Wadris electric primer, a class one TPG plus governor, and it has a thermal relief valve. So if the water in the pump starts getting hot, it will light up to indicate to the uh, operator that there's an issue. Water level gauge, foam level gauge at the top. And then there's an electrical valve to control the uh, discharge of water to the front turret. So if it wants to be used from this position, it will allow that. And because it's an electric primer, we do like to put an electric uh, cutoff switch. So that will protect the, uh, the unit if the primer were to stick. The uh, porter tank rack is a Zyco fold down rack. The department has integrated their two suction hoses uh, down underneath the uh, porter tank. We use a Husky pour tank with the dual drains and the rubber handles uh, at the bottom for easier draining. And then at the top corners, there's a scene light and then the flasher at the, the rear. The uh, backup camera on this unit also has a secondary camera mounted on the right hand side of the unit. This one is actuated with a turn signal. So uh, when you activate the turn signal on this side, the camera comes on but it will also come on when you turn the monitor inside the cab manually and it will have a split screen to show the back and the uh, side view. Uh, the uh, pump panel is covered with the roll-up door on this side as well. We've got an access panel to gain access to the plumbing and to the uh, foam controls for the foam cell and the foam pump. On the panel there is a six inch uh, suction with a four inch storage reducer, uh, two and a half inch discharge, four inch uh, discharge and a two and a half inch inlet. The ladder rack on this unit is a, a standard ladder rack, carries a 24 foot two section, 14 foot roof and the attic ladder underneath. The compartments uh, have Amdor roll up doors. The uh, floor uh, drops down by an inch at the door sill so that creates a better seal from road grime from uh, penetrating inside the uh, compartment. We have the bolt-on rub rails with reflective striping on the inside. And this truck is over 30 feet, so there's an extra turn signal and uh, forward or flasher in, in the rub rail. In the rear fender well area, there are two SCBA bottle holders. Uh, they have a loop on the inside to protect the bottle if ever this door were to open accidentally. Around the fender well, there's a stainless steel polished fender trim. That's an upgrade from our standard. 
In the rear compartment, the uh, pull-out tray has a 500-pound capacity. It has uh, latches to keep it open and closed, so it will lock the, uh, the tray in both positions. The dump valve, it's a stainless steel dump valve. It will rotate in 180 degrees. Uh, it'll extend out past the side of the body. It's manually controlled with the lever on top of the dump valve that has a secondary uh, latch to protect that. So if ever a firefighter were to grab onto that to pull themselves up on the truck, it wouldn't uh, deploy the, uh, the dump valve. The dump valve, once it's in the store position, will latch close so it won't move. Uh, at the top of the unit, we have the uh, hose bed covers. They are um, manual with gas struts on each end. There is an LED light underneath that comes on when the cover is open. There's red end tarps that will be attached to the end of the uh, covers. Uh, they're taken off because uh, during transport. Uh, underneath the hose bed, there's a traffic bar going from side to side. The flashers have a clear lens because they're dual colored. Uh, the, in Ontario, they allow blue and red, so they will flash alternately. Uh, there is a step in the middle and that protects the uh, scene lights on the back. The scene lights, they're activated in a couple different ways. Through a switch uh, on the back of the body, uh, through the reverse of the transmission, and if the park brake is taken off, they'll come off automatically. Uh, in the lower section here, there's uh, two storages for suction hoses. These are labeled for the size of hoses that go in each. The department is carrying two different style of portable pumps, so uh, they carry different size suction hoses. On the other side of the dump valve, there is a uh, four inch direct fireman friend. That is a one way check valve uh, to uh, refill the, uh, the tank. Beside that, there's a Zyco access ladder. The Zyco access ladder, once it's deployed, the first step is lower than the uh, bumper. And once it's in the stored position, it will store tight against the, uh, the truck so that it's uh, protected. And the dump valve will still uh, clear the side of the truck even with the ladder in this position. Uh, on the side, we have the controls for the lights, controls for the uh, porter tank. The turn signal flasher, backup light, the uh, turn signal module are all four in a row. And the tow eyes on this truck, instead of being underneath the body, they come out on the back of the body. So if ever uh, they need to be used, they're easier to gain access to. So for more information on this unit or any other truck we produce, please feel free to call us at 1-800-561-0012.